Hi, this is Jyoti from BIMES. In this tutorial, I will cover the components part under the interactive schedules. So for this, I have taken a simple model as example. So here you can see the 3D model. Here I have some walls, doors, windows, columns, beams and slab. So now I will show you how you can create the component list to calculate the quantity of the volume of the walls, beams, columns and slab. So first I will open the default component list which you will get when you open a new ARCHICAD with ARCHICAD 15 template. And then I will explain you how you can customize the component list to get by floor wise or how you can filter the elements which you want to show okay over here you can see that this is the default component list which gives the component name and the volume irrespective of whether the element is a beam or column or wall or a slab it groups everything into one over here so if we check the scheme settings so as I mentioned today I will cover only this components part so here you can see all components and in the criteria we didn't define any criteria over here. which means that it will look for all elements means the construction elements like wall, roof, shell, beam, column and slab and then it gives these parameters which is the fill type and the component volume so here you can see these are the construction elements and if you are in a door uh, if you are going to create an element list then you can create the list for any of the elements but when you are going for a component list you can create the list for only these elements means you can get the volume or any quantity related to these structural elements so now this is the default one so now here I made a duplicate copy of this over here you can see it's empty so now first I'm going to filter this so far we have component fill type and the volume but now we want to know which element compose of which how much volume so what is like we want to segregate this by element wise so now I'm going to the general parameters and then I am going to add the type so this will display whether the element is a wall beam or a column and then I just say ok now it will refresh this all components list so now I have to activate again all components 0 1 here you can see all components here you can see common brick wall and what is the volume lightweight concrete we have slabs we have defined lightweight concrete and then plaster it is applied to the wall and then structural concrete I have beams and columns so now if you check the floor plan as you can see over here the wall is having the plaster on outside so that's the reason it's giving two components for the wall one is plaster and the other one is masonry and now as you know that we I have three floors over here ground first and second so now I want to segregate by floors so I want to know which floor it is so again from general parameters I can add the floor so I can shift the fields by holding the mouse button over here with up and down arrow I can just move the fields where I want to keep and also I want to flag by the fill type and I want to calculate the overall volume let's say okay 
and just open this Again, floor. So now I want the component fill type, then I want to display the floor which belongs to, and then the element type, then finally the volume. I think I need to refresh. So here you can see bit detail one. Over here we have the common brick, and then ground floor. What is the volume in the ground floor? In the first, second roof, and then the total volume of the concrete common brick. Then same the lightweight concrete is splitter, and over here structural concrete. And here you can see beam column beams column in the ground floor. Right. So now I can still filter this just going to the settings now as you know that I shown you that the criteria is empty completely so here I can, I can add the criteria so first I'm going to define that element is a wall so which means that it will show only the wall if I say ok and now it won't show all the elements it will just show the wall and now you can see now I'm going to add another parameter and then I can define that a wall which is in story is equal to zero which means all the walls in the ground floor will be calculated I just show you this you can see only ground floor and wall now I want to filter for example now I want to have the walls in the ground floor plus the beams in the first floor and the columns only in the second floor so I'm going to add another criteria so in ArchiCAD we have this function where you can put a bracket and give another condition over here for example I define element type is a beam and then story is equal to 1 and now I am going to close this bracket and here before the bracket starting I have to define or which means it will search for the element in zero, ground 0 or the beams in the first floor I am going to add another one where the element type is column and the column should be in story 2 and now I am going to close the bracket again and again before the bracket I have to define this function or so now I have given three different statement one it will give the list of walls in the ground floor and then the all the beam volumes in the first floor then the column volume in the second floor like this you can go up to four levels and you can add as many functions as you can criteria for filtering the elements now let's see the result so here you can see now ground floor walls and then first floor beam and second floor column so like this with this criteria and this bracket function you can customize the elements like the way you want or filter out so that you will get the list of quantities which exactly you need from the model and here if you choose the components it will give the overall and if you want any wall related or column related parameters you can add from this wall element list I hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you